Hello artists, today I'm going to be making some art inspired by Kandinsky circles. Vasily Kandinsky was an expressionist painter. He was interested in how color and shape affected people's emotions when they looked at art. His painting, Color Study, Squares with Concentric Circles, shows Kandinsky's interest for color and shape. He painted circles to represent the cosmos. He chose colors that he thought would look interesting together. This painting was only meant to be used as a tool to help Kandinsky understand color relationships. The color study painting reminds me a lot of Vashti's dots in the book The Dot. So I thought this would be a great project for Dot Day. To get started, you're going to need a square sheet of paper, and I always think it's a great idea to pop your name on the back. With that all being done, you are ready to grab your supplies for today. You really just need that square sheet of paper, scissors, glue, and then I'm using scrap paper. I wonder why you think using scrap paper might be a really responsible idea. Any thoughts? If you were able to say that reusing paper or recycling paper is a really respectful and responsible idea because it helps the planet, then it sounds to me like you're a really great artist. You can see over to the left I have kept my scrap paper just in a pile. That's kind of my scrap or recycle pile for later. The idea here is to cut out as many circles as possible and layer them. This will create an effect called concentric circles, which essentially just means circles within circles. I picked colors that I thought would look good together, just like Kandinsky, and I'm using tools and strategies I know to make as many colorful circles as possible. What I'm doing is I'm just cutting them out and layering them a couple at a time just to see how they look. Remember, keep a scrap pile somewhere uh, so that you don't get your circles messed up with or mixed up with the uh, recycled paper for later. Keep watching to see the colored circles that I'm about to make. I think things are looking really good over here with my concentric circles. I have some scrap paper that's still large enough to be used again. You can see that this pink sheet and this orange sheet are still really big. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll make some really tiny circles out of there so that my concentric circles have a shared, really tiny center. That's another important part of concentric circles, is that each circle shares a center point. You can see here that this orange sheet is still plenty big enough for somebody to use again. What I'm doing is I'm cutting it into a regular shape to go back in my scrap bin, and then I'm just going to recycle that kind of irregular small piece. So I'll add it to my recycle pile over to the left. Now I'm ready to start gluing. I'm going to flip all of my circles over so that the biggest one is on top, and pay close attention to what I'm doing with the glue bottle to make sure each circle is glued down. Am I using globs of glue, or am I using tiny dots of glue? to glue each piece of paper down. If you notice that I was only using tiny dots of glue, then that's a great idea for you to try too. To glue something down, you really only need a little bit of glue. Um, otherwise, we're really wasteful. And it's important as artists to take only what we need. That's an important responsibility we have as creators. My final step is to put my signature on the bottom right corner of my paper so everybody knows that Cole Melvin made it. You could do the same. I hope you're feeling as proud of your concentric circles as I am. Set your artwork somewhere to dry and clean up after yourself. A great golden rule for the classroom is to leave the room better than you found it. Happy making, artist!